Hi everyone and welcome to my 7th Unreal Engine online games tutorial series. Today we will install all NuGet packages we need and required client-side libraries. Um, first, let's talk about a NuGet packages. NuGet packages is uh, something like official, um, official library, official magazine for uh, .NET packages. And uh, in our case, in our project, we uh, uh, we need uh, these uh, five uh, packages, these five uh, NuGet packages and uh, another uh, two client-side libraries as Bootstrap and jQuery. But let's do it step by step. Uh, so uh, first, what we need is Microsoft Entity Framework Core .SQL Server. Uh, Entity Framework is ORM system with the SQL Server adapter to connect to Microsoft SQL Server, what we installed in previous tutorial. Uh, actually, long time ago, without this ORM system, we needed to um, uh, to write uh, actually full SQL query, um, execute this query and get answer from this database. But today we don't need to learn SQL language and we can work with this ORM system. Actually. Uh, next one is Entity Framework Tools for automatic database creation based on a co code first approach. Actually, a long time ago, uh, we needed to create uh, first its first database. We need to create database and then we need to create our application and then we need to create uh, uh, many methods to get some data from database from our application. But in our case, we don't need it. We don't need to create uh, our database. We will use um, a code first uh, approach. It's what it means. It means we will create uh, some C sharp classes in our project. Then we will uh, type some magic words. Um, it's um, migration. We will uh, do some uh, magic migration and our database will be created based on our C sharp classes. Actually, we don't we will we we won't need to create uh, this database from scratch. Great. Uh, third uh, package is uh, 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 it's Microsoft ASP.NET Core Identity dot uh, Entity Framework Core. What it means? It's some additional library uh, to uh, what gives us ability to regis registration, authentication, and manage roles. Actually, we can create uh, this functionality from scratch. But why do we need to do this if we have uh, already created library? And it's uh, some uh, I don't know some standard in asp.net so we will use this library this library will help us to make to create registration authentication and another client uh, things great uh, next we need is Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot MVC dot uh, Newton uh, soft JSON what it means it's library that gives us ability to serialize advantage JSON requests. What it means? Uh, without this library, we uh, in our ASP.NET Core uh, web API application, we can uh, create some a model for a response this uh, web API. Uh, but it will work with the uh, simple uh, simple classes only. Actually, if we create some advanced classes, if we uh, create uh, some uh, I don't know uh, uh, some classes with uh, many uh, with uh, many structures, many variables, many uh, of um, I don't know many of uh, arrays actually uh, it will create some errors error we i can uh, asp.net core uh, application will tell to us that um oh i cannot serialize this advanced uh, your class 
for, from to JSON format. Actually, this uh, library, this uh, package will help us to serialize uh, advanced uh, JSON formats. And last one here, it's, uh, I don't know how, how to, swagashable.aspnetcore swagger. It's actually swagger. It's great tool for testing and document, documenting web API. Uh, actually, let me show you how it works. I want to open my actually created project. It's lo login server. Then I want to I want to launch my application and uh, I want to show you what is uh, this um, Swagger. Uh, yep, great. My application uh, launch it and here we can find Swagger. What is Swagger? It's a very useful interface to manage your web API. It actually gives you our absolutely automatically created this page, this Swagger page. And here we can see all our a web API methods we have in our application. It's login, logout, result. Actually, we can see how it works. We we can see what is required, what is response, how it works. We can try it out. We can uh, we can execute some query. We can uh, we can see an answer from this query. Yep, and it's a very very uh, powerful tool. Um, great. Um, uh, it's about it's all about our five our five packages we need to require it to uh, our application great and next I want to show you how to install uh, how to install a new get packages in Visual Studio uh, first what do we need we need to create our project and then we need to do right click on our um, project name uh, on our project name uh, then we need to uh, click um, manage new get packages as you can see on the screen uh, then we can see uh, something like next uh, video uh, here we have text box uh, where we can type a name of our uh, name of our um, uh, package yep yeah? so we can uh, just copy this name of this package I just copy then I paste paste here uh, then in the uh, next window we can find uh, we can we can see all find it um, uh, packages with the uh, this uh, name and we can choose a package we need is Mac Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server and then we can click install button uh, great uh, then after that we can read the license and we can accept this license uh, after that we can uh, change this uh, tab from browse to install it and here in install it page we can find uh, our ins uh, already installed um, uh, package yep uh, and uh, it's how it works and uh, after that we do we need to do this uh, 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 these uh, steps uh, five times for five days um, for these five uh, packages uh, and after that we need to find these uh, one two three four five uh, packages uh, let me uh, uh, um, I want to open this uh, tutorial I want to open uh, my project my tutorial project and uh, show you how it's uh, uh, how it must be actually I uh, click here uh, I click oh actually you can um, I want to disable my camera yep I click here then um, uh, manage new get packages and then here in install it I can see all of these uh, all of these packages great uh, after that we need to install another client side libraries but not from a NuGet package manager but from a SDN.js manager it's another package manager uh, 
uh, actually it's just package manager with uh, many of uh, additional client side libraries and what we need here we need tweetbot strap to basic website design it's actually old technology it's not uh, great technology but uh, today uh, but today in uh, this tutorial we we don't want to create some i don't know perfect perfect website with great design no 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 we just want to create um we just want to create um uh, website with registration authorization and download uh, game client link it's actually all what we need to do actually uh, design you can create um, uh, from scratch uh, and uh, today we will use in our project we will use Twitter bootstrap and jQuery actually just just in case we don't actually need this jQuery but uh, uh, jQuery is required by by Bootstrap. If you want to uh, use some additional functionality from Bootstrap, you need to this jQuery. Um, great. And how to install some packages, some some client side libraries uh, from this SDNJS uh, manager. Actually, we need to do right click on our project name, then find add and client side library. It's actually, you can open your Visual Studio, right click, then uh, add and here client side library, like this. And here you can find, I don't know, jQuery, for example. Yep, you can uh, find jQuery and you can here actually type some versions and you can download versions version of jQuery you want. Um, here, Actually, you can choose a uh, manager provider. In our case, it's SDNJS. Then we can, in the next text box, we can type a uh, name of our package we want to install. In our case, it's a uh, Twitter bootstrap. Uh, then we can choose which files we want to include in our project. In our case, we want to include all of these files. Actually, we, uh, we check uh, include all library files. Here we want to define a path to our to this pro to this uh, to folder with uh, this uh, um, client side library. In our case, we want uh, we don't have this three w root uh, backslash lib backslash bootstrap folders. Actually, we type uh, this text here, and uh, it will create for us three w root. It's some standard. Uh, ASP.NET uh, folder for static files, then uh, backslash lib, lib folder, it's folder for uh, our um, uh, library manager, and then we can create bootstrap or even a uh, twir bootstrap, but uh, for short, I want to use just bootstrap. Actually, we'll, we'll be created a uh, 3w three, three root backslash lib backslash uh, bootstrap folder. Great, and we click install. Uh, after that, we can find 3w root folder inside of this folder we can inside of it we can find lib folder it's actually a 3w root for static files a lib for library manager it's library manager folder and bootstrap actually for our bootstrap library and uh, uh, instead of this, we can find find libman.json file. It's library manager configuration file. Actually, if we open this file, we can find here this uh, this already added um, uh, bootstrap, Twitter bootstrap, and uh, it's how to it's how to. Uh, add uh, some client side libraries to our project. We actually create uh, added uh, Bootstrap and we need to do this one more time and add jQuery. After that, after you um, install jQuery, you can find uh, two uh, here two folders: Bootstrap folder and jQuery folder. And here we can find. Uh, libraries a JSON uh, array and inside of this array we can find uh, Twitter bootstrap and jQuery actually let me show you how it works and actually this this is our libman JSON let me show how it works actually we can we have 3w root folder inside of this inside of it oh you can 
you cannot see uh, i'm sorry I'm very sorry actually we can find 3w root folder inside of inside of the uh, inside of this folder we can find lib folder and here we can see bootstrap folder and jquery folder uh, let's see on this folder and looks uh, if i cut this array element ctrl and x and after that i want to save looks on this folder i i press uh, save and looks we don't have jquery jquery anymore actually if i add this jquery text uh, in this library's array, uh, json array and i save this file looks we uh jquery was was added automatically great it's how a uh, library manager works and this is all for today thank you for listening and see you next time